Hey guys, it's Shane here and I wanted and today I am going to show you how to install the Google Now launcher on any Android device. So this setup is very, very simple and you don't even need a computer to do it. You can do it all from your phone. Turn the brightness up there. And basically it gives you all the Google Now, all the everything in the Google Experience Launcher. So, okay Google, what's the weather today? Today's forecast for Granite Bay is 20... So everything works, even the OK Google on the home screen. So I'm going to show you how to set it up. So basically, I'll put a link to this website in the description. But you're going to want to go to this website. This website. And you're going to want to download these two links. So I've already done it, but I'll do it for you anyway. I'll just install them again. So also another thing to note is you're going to want to do this with your stock internet. I'll tell you why later. Just choose which one and click just once if you don't like to use it all the time. And then the Chrome will take you to this thing. Google Home, APK. Just click download. It doesn't install anything bad. Internet, again, just once. And then the thing about this is it'll install right here and you can tap on it to install it. And if your Google search is not fully updated, it's this you don't have to download this, you can just go straight to the Play Store and update it. But if you want to be safe, I've already installed it, do the same process for that link too. Now what you're gonna do for both is click on them right here. And then you'll go into this, click install it'll install it it takes a minute it doesn't usually take this long it's probably because it's conflicting because it already installed it Just give it a second oh fray Okay, so if that doesn't work and you somehow exit, you're going to want to go to Downloads and click on the APK, install it. And then once it's installed, you can either click Done. Oh, it's installed. So I, you can either click Done or Open. If you click Open, it'll take you right to the home screen and ask you which home screen you want to use. I'll click Done. And then you can go into settings I'm pretty sure it's personalized and then you click on your home screen you can choose between the Google Now launcher so it's there I also have Themer and HTC Sense so you're gonna wanna click the Google Now launcher and when you go back everything should just be like Google now this only comes with two stock wall uh, stock pages and the uh, Google Now so a way to add an extra wallpaper uh, sorry, page is drag an app out of the app drawer and drag it onto the empty page. It'll add the page. It'll add it. And this obviously this wallpaper didn't come stock, so I installed the Nexus 5 HD wallpapers. You're gonna you're gonna want to use the one by Savrinov Evgeny. Savrinov Evgeny that one's the one and it gives you these really clear HD ones most of the other ones crop it down and it's not clear at all but look how clear that is yeah so basically that's it you're still gonna have your HTC stock wallpaper if I didn't I wouldn't be able to use the fingerprint scanner on it I turned it off for now but you wouldn't be able to use your fingerprint scanner and you also have the stock notification uh, HTC notification bar but you can install those through other third party apps but now I'm going to show you how to change it back go into security whoops 
sorry, personalize home screen and click back on HTC Sense. And then my my original HTC Sense is restored with Blink Feed. So thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. So thanks for watching.